Hello, and welcome to a statue review for the Amazing Heroes Jiro Kyoka from Ban Presto. So it is yet another uh, My Hero Academia statue from the Amazing Heroes line. I'm slowly collecting all of 1A. Uh, my intention isn't to get every member, but to be fair, a lot of them are really cool. And Jiro is definitely one of my favourites. I love her design, I love her personality. So I thought, hey, I'll pick up a statue of her. So as I mentioned, it is by Ban Presto, uh, Bandai Namco, it is My Hero Academia, and she is volume 28 of The Amazing Heroes. Now, I've had a quick look around the box, and much like a lot of the other Amazing Heroes statues, it doesn't actually say her name, which is weird. Um, I guess it's just the case of if you see the statue of a character you like, I guess you just buy it without it saying who it is. That was a quick look at the box. Uh, honestly, I'm really impressed with that face paint. I'm hoping it looks as good IRL as it does on the box. But I guess time will tell. Right, I'm going to go open it up. So B R B. And for those interested, she does come in th uh, two very heavily bubble wrapped parts on the base, of course. Right, I'm going to go construct her. All right, I am back and I've assembled her. So I've got to say, she's actually a little bit shorter than expected. Although, admittedly, you know, with the scale of the Amazing Heroes, I think they do all kind of scale together. Obviously, she's a student. She's going to be a bit shorter anyway. But, as always, it is time to take a look at the statue herself. So I'll move the box to the side and we'll look at all the details. So, as with all the other Amazing Hero statues, she comes with the translucent black... Uh, base. Honestly, you could probably stand her up fine without the base, um, but I'm going to keep her on the base anyway, just in case she does topple over because I don't want it snapping, you know, a hand or something. So, uh, from the bottom, she's got her shiny leather boots. Uh, I do like the paintwork to kind of make it all shiny and leather. Um, a kind of standard thing for, well, any statues these days, even like quite cheap prize figures uh, do that. But, you know, it's a nice little touch. Uh, and then, moving up to her black... I want to say they're jeans or maybe they're leather pants or something. I don't fully know. Um, I mean, her whole look is kind of casual. It's not really, you know, a superhero look as with a lot of the other students, which I really like. Um, so, moving on up to her top, this has answered, actually, a question I've had for quite a while which is, are these little black sort of detailings, or are they rips in her top? And they are indeed. I don't think you can really make it out on camera, sadly. But these are rips. Um, you know, th there are sort of spaces there you could put your fingernail through. And yeah, um, very much in keeping with the punk aesthetic. I think she's got a rip up the top there as well, as you can see. And so we'll move on over to her jacket, or like... Her mini jacket. I I don't I don't fully understand the um the point of these. Actually, no, it it is full length. There are some kind of like half length jackets which I've never really understood. And also that's kind of cool. So she's got um I don't know if it's like bits of padding or maybe it's a belt or something to wrap her jacket up. But she does have that as well. I am always a sucker for dynamically moving uh, cloth and stuff. So this gets top points for that. Ah, now we are over to her hands. Uh, yet again, very nice hands. Ban Presto is always good with those. And she's got the kind of spiked, you know, like rocker um, things uh, on top of, well, topped by rather, the sort of amplifier things. I want to say I, I can never fully understand how it is Jiro attacks. I think these are like speakers, basically, right? That she kind of like shoots sound out of. Uh, as we can see, she's got one on this side as well. I will be putting up photos in a second to see everything more in detail. Uh, but as you can see, her earlobes like, connect into here. Because, of course, these are her earlobes, uh, because she has sound powers. I want to say her sound power is to have very sensitive hearing, but I guess she admit emits hearing too, right? She doesn't get a lot of screen time, does Jiro, um, which is unfortunate, because I really like the kind of concept of her superpowers. Uh, and then on top there, we have uh, her earphones, along with sort of the uh, underlying pink padding and the blue top there is a little bit uh, glossy as well. And then we've got her hair, which is really cool. I do like her kind of spiky hair. 
and then over to her face, which honestly is just as good as I thought it would be on the box. Um, very pleasantly surprised. Sometimes the faces look a little bit weird or like they only work from certain angles, but to be honest, I think she looks pretty good from all angles. Obviously, she's kind of meant to be displayed this way, which is just horribly blurry now, and for some reason my camera can't focus. But, you know, you could see her that way and stuff. Uh, yeah, honestly, overall, a very well-detailed statue with a lot more going on than I anticipated originally. So, anyway, it is now time to go into the photo montage, where I take photos on my camera, cause, uh, on my phone, because it's a little bit better. So, here it is. All right, we are back. So I hope you enjoyed that montage. And honestly, I am really pleased with this statue. When I pre-ordered it, I was like, hey, yeah, a Jiro statue. I'd love Jiro. I know that there is a more expensive one, as with a lot of the My Hero Academia girls. But I thought, eh, I, I like her, but not sort of £130-like, you know. But this is perfectly what I wanted. It's a nice statue. It is uh, in a quite a dynamic pose. It's in her hero costume, which I like. And as you saw with the froppy thing, she does actually scale really well. She is kind of bent over a little bit, you know, but if she was stood up more, they're basically on the same level there. So yeah, overall, this is a really nice statue. If, um, you know, if like me, you don't really want to drop a few, like over a hundred on a Jiro statue. I think this is a really solid choice. I really like her design. I've always had a soft spot for the kind of like emo rock kind of look. Um, and yeah, she, she's genuinely one of my favorite My Hero Academia characters, despite the fact she doesn't really get, you know, time to shine sadly a lot, but I haven't caught up with season six. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, that about wraps up my statue review for the the Amazing Heroes Volume 28 Jiro statue. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've got this statue or if you've got the uh, the other expensive one or if there's like another Jiro statue I've just missed out on. Let me know below or what other My Hero Academia statues you've got. I do have a small collection growing. I think I've got eight or nine of them now, all of different characters. And uh, coming up next week will be another My Hero Academia statue review, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that about wraps it up. I'll leave a playlist for my other statue reviews in the corner there, and I'll leave YouTube choose a video at the bottom there. And until next time, goodbye.